I went to the Kids for Kids Body Reading program and I interviewed some kids about their talents. And they said that their talent is singing. And I asked them, do you learn singing? And they said, no. And they said, really quietly, I can't. Why do you think that is? It's because they don't have the money and the ability to do so. They can't develop their talents. And we all can, but they can't. That's because they don't have the money. So our dream is to make success achievable for them. And, that, and that's by doing a talent show for them. And this is like an X factor for the underprivileged. So the reason why we're going to tackle poverty like this is because a lot of times when we think of tackling poverty, it's normally through like basic necessities like food and shelter. But a lot of people undermine the mentality behind poverty, and that is a big reason why it continues to exist. Because these children do not engage with the community enough. They do not see that there is a future for them to develop their talents and hopefully um, continue and allow them to pursue like their dreams in the future. And so there's even statistics that show that um, underprivileged kids are twice as likely to develop mental disorders like depression. And so we see that by giving them a, a platform for them to experience this, these talents and perform in front of people and engage with the community, it gives them the chance to really see themselves. There's a future that I can live in, not the one that I know of right now. So this is our team. Um, we, are, we come from different international schools and one of our team members actually just graduated and we have a wide range of different powers. So for example, um, I'm actually a junior reporter at Young Post, South China Morning Post, so I can use that role to help promote this event um, in the end. And um, Evelyn over there is really talented in performing arts. She goes to Hong Kong County for performing arts and she can use those skills to help teach the children who actually participate in the talent show and give them extra confidence. So the, this is the overall step to what we're going to do for the final product. So in the very beginning, we're going to begin by advertising and contacting NGOs for this cause and rallying people who these NGOs have contact with, such as the underprivileged children. And then next, we will continue to have auditions for everyone who wants to join this talent show and anyone is welcome to do so. And Thirdly, we're going to use social media to um, help promote this event. So do you guys all know Humans of New York? Um, yes, we're going to do something similar like that. So a spotlight feature on everyone who is performing. Um, and these performers will be shortlisted, 20 people from um, all the applications. And everyone is actually welcome to attend the final performance where there will be a panel of judges. And we will have awards for the winners, which will most likely be scholarships or certain prizes that will allow them to continue to pursue their talent. So who does Kids Excel help? We help children and teenagers from low-income families who have performing arts talents. So we're going to try to build up their confidence so they can continue building their, um, their talents in the future. So there are going to be two categories for the talent show, which is 6 to 10 years old and 11 to 16 years old, so that they can compete with the people in their age group. So who can help and what do we need for you? So we want NGOs to be in contact with us so that we can contact low-income families and ethnic minorities uh, so that they can perform or um, apply for our project. And we want them to help us advertise our project. And some examples can be Crossroads, Christian Action, etc. And we want sponsors to provide us with prizes and also um, they can help us um, have scholarships for these um, training in the future. And who, who can help with us? Um, kids for Kids volunteers or other students from all over Hong Kong can help us by um, training these kids and also they can help us film for our YouTube channel and, and they can, schools can also provide location and resources, resources to train the children. And this is because there's actually going to be a training period between once they actually apply for the talent competition. So this is what we want to use the $3,000 for. It's mainly for the final actual show, but there will be also certain so in order to make this project sort of long-term and sustainable, we hope that this can actually continue um, year after year. Um, we want them to, we will actually follow up with the um, students, I mean the children, who actually begin to um, participate in this talent show and um, sort of open it up to more children, underprivileged children across Hong Kong afterwards. So also, uh, one of the main reasons why we're doing this is because we want to build their confidence and we'll, we're doing that by giving them a, an opportunity to be on stage and shine with their talent. Because these kids, they don't usually um, are recognized for their talents. When you walk, walk past them, you think they're poor, but they're actually really talented. So thank you guys for listening.